Hi there, it's me Sandy and today I have two flips and a flop. So two fragrances that I have completely flipped for. Um, one of them much to my surprise and then one that was a flop. And it was only a flop for me because it didn't suit my personal taste. I can still acknowledge that it's a really pretty scent. So I'll just mention that one first. Um, I've been kind of on a big sampling kick because it, you know, allows you to enjoy the, the hobby but not break the bank. So this was my flop. It's falling out of the bottom. It's Narciso um, Ombre. The kind of peach colored cube, the original peach colored, not the um, Neroli one. Um, it's a beautiful fragrance, just too floral for me, too much of like a tropical floral, just not my, not what I'm drawn to. Um, but I do think it's pretty. So if you're looking for a really pronounced tropical fragrance, tropical floral, not coconutty, um, that one's worth a sniff. Okay, so the first one that I, I keep looking behind me because I don't want people walking by, so I'm trying to be quick. Um, the first one that I am just loving is uh, Ellis Brooklyn <clears throat> Myth. So I'll put a picture up because um, I couldn't find my sample right now. Um, but it's just beautiful. Um, it's got ambrette in it, so it's a little bit pear-like. It's just such a good scent. Like, it just smells, I just want to smell like that. It's not like perfumey. Um, it's just clean, but it's not soapy. It's a little fruity, but not. It's a little musky. It's, it's musky, but it's like a good clean musk. It's a little clean, but it's not soapy. It's a little floral, but it's not floral. It's, it's hard to explain. Um, so I have the sample and I've used it up and I have a big bottle of their lotion, the Myth lotion coming my way. They were on sale. And um, I read online that people said that if you love the smell of Myth, the lotion lasts longer. So I'll, I'll probably buy a travel spray of the fragrance and I'll just use that lotion. It'd be perfect for work because a lotion, a scented lotion sits close to the skin, still smells really good. And um, it's just, you know, not gonna take over the room. Okay, so then the next one that I am just loving is Lake and Sky Midnight. So beautiful. I already love Lake and Sky 1111, the oil. It's super, fresh ozonic clean musk beautiful another one that's really good for work um, I would not wear a midnight to work to my job um, so this to me surprised me it was love at first sniff and it was just a beautiful to me it's a beautiful spicy powdery slightly figgy scent um, I know it says it's a patchouli. Um, I don't smell like straight up patchouli in this. Um, I just don't, I thought I would. Um, I was expecting almost like reminiscence patchouli with a little fig in it, but it's not. To me, this is very spicy and I'm not sure where that's coming from. Um, it's like cardamom type spice or pepper. It's got a lot of zest to it and it's just beautiful. I love how powdery it is. It's a little bit green. It's just a really, really interesting scent that, like I said, it was just like when you're trying on jeans, you know, and you've tried on all these different pairs and then you grab a pair and you put them on and they literally feel like they were made for you. Like everything about them is perfect. That's what this felt like when I sprayed it. So loving this one. So Midnight by Lake and Sky. Um, and again, I'm not an expert. I'm just a regular person with opinions. So um, I suggest that you sample like I do um, to save money. <laughs> um, I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.